Good afternoon. If you've ever tried crossing Rio Grande in Old Town, you know just how hard it can be to cross that busy road. The city actually put in a new crosswalk a few months ago to help, but this week it's gone. News 13's Natalie Wada spoke with nearby business owners to try to figure out what's behind it. Jessica, the city has been planning to put a crosswalk here since 2017, but when it finally went up, local business owners tell me it didn't quite live up to expectations. The traffic is horrible here. People speed 55 miles an hour. Um, a lot of road rage here. We just can't get people to slow down here. Monica Baca owns Monica's El Partal on Rio Grande and says she's seen traffic problems here her whole life. My grandfather and grandmother lived across the street. They were hit about three times the fence. Um, now the people that live there have been hit three times, three or four times. It's just terrible. The city seemed to take notice of the problem back in 2017. A complete streets plan outlined a crosswalk here at Rio Grande and Hollywood Avenue. Six years later in March, it finally went up but local business owners say they weren't impressed. And that was a joke. That was our good tax dollars at work. Um, people did not slow down for people crossing. Tammy Chino of Tammy's Edge Salon saw the same thing, even though she wanted a crossing to help bridge the gap right. between their businesses and Old Town. We'd have to yell at people and say, stop, you know, because the lights weren't working, nobody was paying attention, everybody's too much in a hurry here. And we've had several accidents from here over people crossing over. The crosswalk had a sign with flashing lights to warn drivers. But today, it's just two metal boxes and some scrapes in the road. It's been painted over. I don't know what happened there either. Today, they were taking it down today. Today. Uh, a few days ago, they were erasing the lines. And then they took it down today. I talked to some of the workers and they said, yeah, people were complaining that it's not working. Locals saying something needs to be done here. There's been so many revisions and I think we've been just been put to the wayside. And I think that this needs to be uh, taken care of immediately because uh, we have so many tourists that come to town and they need to have that accessibility to go back and forth. Now, we asked the city today why they took this crosswalk down and how much this whole project cost, but we're still waiting for answers. Now, six years ago, the city estimated that this project would cost $180,000. Back to you. All right, we'll keep asking. Thank you, Natalie. The city also installed another new Rio Grande crosswalk on Bellama, closer to I-40 earlier this year. That one is still in place.